Okay. We got that out of the way. You, do you live here in town, then? Yes, sir. How long have you lived here? Probably a year, year and a half, somewhere like that. Where are you from? I'm from Argo, Idaho, originally. That, were you kind of born and raised? Yep. Okay. What, what do you do? I'm an electrician. Where are you working at? I'm at a Chibani. Oh, yeah. The Helping them get all that put together, huh? Mm -hmm. What do they expect to be doing with that? Uh, I don't know. They, they expect to be op operational from one standpoint. I mean, not fully operational, but a little bit of production by December. But other, you know, full production, I have no idea. It's, yeah. Yeah, have, it's, you, have you been out there since the, the start of it? I originally, I think I originally started in like February. What kind of things do you do on your days off? On my days off, well, I don't get many. I get Sunday off. Oh, are, are you supposed to be at work today? Yes. Did you did you call in or? Yep. I I actually I was uh, at Canyon Crest with my boss. Oh. So, and he had left, and immediately after all this happened, I tried to call him. My phone died, and then I oh, as, soon as I got home and plugged it in, I let him know, and I called him before I came came down. Oh, what's his name? Derek. Derek Foot. Derek Foot. Okay, so he knows. Uh, did you tell him you just weren't coming in at all today, or gonna be late, or what did you tell? I texted him and I said I'm pretty beat up and and I may not make it in. If if I do, I'll get in there as soon as I can. I talked to him this morning and I said I'll try to get there as soon as I can, but there's no guarantees. So he he was okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Um, well, like I said, uh, we're just kind of figuring out what happened out there tonight, and uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know how much TV or whatever you watch, but typically, uh, you know, before you talk to a detective or anything like that, they usually advise you of your Miranda rights. Sure. Are you familiar with those? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and advise you of your Miranda rights because okay. it's kind of standard operating procedure. Anytime sure. I talk to somebody, it protects you, it protects me, it protects everybody involved. Um, but it makes you aware of kind of what's going on. Okay. okay? Uh, the first first one is you have the right to remain silent. Sure. You understand what that means? Yep. Um, uh, anything you say uh, can and will be used against you in a court of law. Okay. You have the right to have an attorney present with you while you're being questioned. Okay. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you at no cost. Okay. And you have the right to stop answering questions at any time. Sure. Do you understand those rights? I do. Okay. Yes. And you're down here voluntarily on your own. You, yes. You, yes, ma'am. You volunteered to come down here and talk to us. Yes. And uh, tell us what happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I would like to know what happened tonight. Okay. Um, um, could I ask you a question? Sure. Is this guy okay? Is he? Um, you know, I haven't heard the latest on him yet. Okay. Uh, but obviously he was involved in a fight as well, and uh, so I'm just trying to piece it together what happened. Okay. And uh, you know, once I get some more information, I'll let you know. Sure. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I I just like to know, kind of, from your your point of view as to what happened tonight, how this started. Sure. Um, like I said, I was there with my boss. Um, <clears throat> got dropped off there from some of my friends. Um, I was there for a few hours. What time did you get down there? My buddies were going to a movie, and I think it started at, I'm not sure when it started, 9 or 9.30. And, and when you say buddies, who who is it that you're... Um, Cade Baugh, okay. which, that's where they picked me up from. Like Cade Baugh's out okay. Yeah, and his good friend, Brent, Brent Hilliard, his dad's actually the chief of police. Um, Brent Hilliard and and his wife. Okay. And they were gonna go see a movie. Yeah, they were gonna they were gonna go see a movie and they wanted me to go, but my boss I wanted to hang out with him. So they, they dropped me off at Canyon Chris. Canyon Chris, okay. And, and that was around nine? Yeah, I'm gonna say somewhere around nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what happened from there? There I went in, um, met Derek, sat down. A few other guys I work with were there. Um, had some drinks, talked, 
and eventually everybody, you know, it's time to go home. We both had to work today, so we decided to go home. I went outside and I was talking to a random girl that she, she, I think she had a cousin that I went to school with. Anyway, I was talking to her, and do you know her name? I can't, I can't, I can't remember her name. Okay. And it was outside though. Yeah, it was right out front. Yeah, right out front. Okay, and uh, Derek, right? Mm -hmm. Your boss, he'd already left. At yeah, this point. he was gone. At did this he? Point. How did he? Did he drive or did he get cabbed? I'm, I'm not sure. You know, because I. We were all talking and everything, and he was like, I thought he was going to go home. When I went out back on the patio, and I was talking to some people, and by the time I came back in, he had already left. So I'm not sure how he, how he got home. I know he lives, or he lives pretty near to Cannon Crest in some apartments, so he may have walked. I'm not sure. Okay. So you're out front, you're talking to uh, yeah, some girl, you, you know her cousin or something? Yeah, she, I went to school with one of her cousins, and we got to talking, and, and a kid came out, and I was talking to her, and he said something, and I can't remember, it was something derogatory, something negative, he said something negative, and I looked over, and I recognized him, and I recognized that this kid had started, uh, kind of started some drama before at a bar, and I'm not even sure, I'm not even sure what his name is, he just knows my, my friend Cade, there. Or like previous acquaintances or something. Okay. Anyway, so, he, so you've seen this kid before? I have seen him before, yes. And, and the last was, time that I saw him was at the pocket and he had started some drama there. What do you mean by drama? Just saying derogatory, negative things, trying to start a fight, basically. Okay. Do you, do you recall anything like what he would have said? Uh, I, I remember what he said at the pocket uh, when I saw him previously. He's, what did he say then? <clears throat> and this wasn't on the same night, this was weeks right. ago. Right. He he told me that, you know, my best friend, his name is Cade, my name is Cade, we're always with each other. He he made a statement that we might, he, uh, he figured that we were gay because we hang out with each other so much. And he had some buddies, that, you know, that joined in on the, and I've never even met the kid, and, you know, and he's called me gay. Anyway, that's what started the whole deal, and that's that's where I recognized him from. Did uh, did it ever get physical over at the pocket? At the pocket, no. He he did have some friends that told me they're they're gonna wait for me in the parking lot. And but when I left, they weren't there. They didn't see me. I don't know. They weren't there. So. And this was a couple weeks ago. Yes. Okay. So you're you're outside Canyon Crest, and outside Canyon Crest. And talking to a girl, and he, this kid says something again. He, yeah, he says something negative, and I look over and recognize him. Said, "Oh, you're that kid that called me my buddy gay." From the from the pocket. Yeah, and from there, you know, he he said something. I said something. We, we got into a discussion, getting kind of heated. Um, uh, his girlfriend, I remember her, you know, getting pretty heated too. Do you know her name? I don't. I don't know her name. I'm not even sure what his name is. And he, he may have told me, but I can't, can't remember. Anyway, we, we're getting into a pretty heated discussion. Wait for my cab. A cab pulls up, but it's somebody else's, and they take off. And so you, you'd call the cab by this point? Yeah, I called the cab. I called the cab inside the bar, okay. and I was outside just waiting for Just it. waiting for Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, my cab gets there, and here's, here's where I'm getting confused, because I'm trying to piece everything back together. And I'm not sure if we got if we got in the altercation, the scuffle, the physical scuffle before I tried to get in the cab or after because I, I tried to get in the cab and the cab driver said, you know, no, you're not going. And he, he kicked me out of the cab basically. Why, why did he say that? Yeah, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not sure if we if we had already got the phys physical art altercation or if 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 maybe we were in the me and this kid were, you know, in a heated discussion yelling at each other, but the cab driver, either way, was like, you know, you're not coming with me, you understand, and he drove off. But I can't, I cannot remember if it, if, if it was after we got physical or before. I can't, okay. can't but, remember. but at some point you did get physical with this guy? Yes. Was yes. it just one guy? I, I think so. Um, I remember I, I got hit, I remember I got hit, um, I got hit multiple times, my jaw is pretty sore, I know I got hit. Pretty good amount of times. Um, 
and it went, I remember it went down to the ground, and I'm not sure if I got, if somebody's kicking me, or, it, I remember, I remember when I was getting hit, I was thinking, there's multiple people kicking me, because he was talking about, you know, when we were in a heated argument, he was talking about his buddies, and how they were going to throw a blanket party on me, and they are going to sell me down, but I don't Tonight, know. just prior to yes. the physical, he was making comments about his buddies taking care of him. Yeah, him and his buddies. But you didn't see anybody else? I, no, it, the only thing, I guess I got hit and I was kind of dazed and I was getting hit and hit and hit. And it was in my mind that there was more than one person, but I, I don't remember looking up and seeing, you know, I don't know if his girlfriend kicked me or if she was kicking me or, you know, hopefully there's surveillance or videotape. I'm not sure. It was in my mind that I was getting kicked by like two or three people and getting hit. It, what? And when you're getting kicked, what, what position were you in? I remember, you know, I got punched. We kind of wrestled around. Um, I want to say I went down to my knees. He was kind of down to his knees, uppercutting me. So were you on top of him? I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not sure. You know, I got hit. I got, he whacked me pretty good. I was dazed and adrenaline and having a few drinks. It's just kind of a blur, you know. I just remember getting hit and telling me, <laughs> you guys going to get off me and I'm going to stick you. I'm going to stick you, you guys going to get off me. And that's, that's what I remember. That's it. Other than that, um, I remember him bleeding and I remember seeing the blood trail and, and uh, being kind of scared. Uh, I grabbed my cell phone. I think I took off running. I tried to call. I was either I call, I tried to call my boss or I was dialing 911. And my phone died. It was one of those two, but my phone my phone was gone. And then I walked clear to where I was found, probably 600 miles. You walked all the way from Canyon Crest out to the trailer park. Yeah, but yeah, I walked to the to the gas station right there, close, and then talked to the gas station attendant. And At which gas station? It's, it's on Addison. It's it's the last one going out of town. Oh, the Oasis. Island. Yeah. Right across from the old hospital. Yeah, I talked to them about it. He, you know, he said, oh, yeah, what happened to you? I talked to him, and there were some people that came in, and they offered to give me a ride, so they gave me a ride from there. Okay. Now, you said you got in a scuffle with this guy, and, and were you guys exchanging punches? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know that I punched him at all. I know that he punched me. Okay. He punched me, but I don't know that I punched him. No, you said that uh, you said that uh, that you were gonna stick him. What, what did you mean by that? I had my pocket knife. I said, "You need to get off me, or I'm gonna I'm gonna stab you, stick you, stab you." I and you know at this point I didn't know how many freaking guys were hitting me. I was kind of scared, you know. I was dazed. That first hit about knocked me out. Um, yeah, I didn't. Do you remember stabbing this guy at all? I I can't remember what position we were in when it happened. I can't remember if if we were on the ground, if if we were standing up. I can't I can't remember the exact the exact position. But but did you stab him? Yes. Yeah, I did. Do, do you know I, how many times you stabbed him? I I don't. More than once. I think twice. So. I think so. I couldn't tell you the exact amount. Is uh, this this cut? Is that a, a result of? I'm 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 not sure how that happened. I could have stabbed myself. I could have landed on glass. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. It. So, this this altercation sure um, started as you were outside waiting for the cab, just talking to a girl. Yes. And he said something to you. Yeah, he said something. Do you remember what that was he said? I, I don't. I did don't he, did he like immediately like challenge you after that? Like come up and get in your face, or did you go over and confront him? Do you remember how that? No, he went? said something. He said something. <coughs> he said something negative, and I caught it and said, I can't even remember. I said I just remember saying, Oh, you're that kid, you know that. I said, you're that fucker that said me and my buddy are gay together, blah, 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 I remember you. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the first thing I said to him. And then it just kind of escalated yeah, after yeah. that? Yep. Okay. 
but you don't remember uh, if you had got into the cab before this or after this? No, and see, that's where I'm getting blurry. Um, the, uh, I want to say that maybe we got physical and and the cab driver witnessed it and I was getting in and he said no or maybe we were still yelling at each other and he said no I'm not taking it. I, that's that's the one thing that I'm really confused about. I'm not sure you know why he would kick me out or at what point in time it was that he decided that he didn't want to give me a ride. So. You know you said that uh you said that you'd noticed uh, the, the blood that he was yeah. bleeding. Yes, and, and you, you And that scared you. It did, yes. And that was, at, was that before or after you uh, stabbed him? That was after. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you don't recall maybe how many times you stabbed him? I, I, don't, I don't recall where, how many times. Where you stabbed him? Um, I want to say in the back, maybe. Like, uh, I know that we were, we were wrapped up, I think. Like face to face? Well, you know, kind of like in a clinch. I don't know if he had a hold of me, if I had a hold of him, but I'm pretty sure it was. Were you on the grass? Yeah, I, don't, I don't remember if I was on my knees or if we were standing up. That's the part that I don't remember, but I know it's either inside or in the, in the lower back area. Okay, and you, and you think it was more than once, but you're not sure? I think so, yes. Mm -hmm. Did you. Um, did you say anything else to him while this was going on, while the fight was going on, after you said, I'm going to stick you or stab you? Did you... I just warned him, you know, I, I just said, if I get off me or I'm going to stab you, I'm going to stick you. Um, after, after he got up and I saw the blood... Uh, Did you say anything to him at that point? I, I think I said, oh, fuck, you're bleeding bad. And I think that's the last thing that I said. Okay. Um, and then, where did you go after that? Wh which way did you leave? I think Candy I Candy Crest. Do you remember? I think I took off running, but I'm not sure. Like through the parking lot, or I, through the through the, the dirt parking lot? I mean, I, through which I direction? The park, it's, I don't remember. You could. At this point, my adrenaline's going so bad, it just kind of moved. Do you know if you headed towards Washington Street or I, towards? I think so, and I was lost and delirious, and okay. it took me a while. I might have did zigzags the whole freaking way to the gas station. Did you did you run the whole way to the gas station? No, no, I walked. How how far did you run? Do you think after this? I think I ran for a little bit, maybe out of the parking lot, and I started to walk. I think. Did you walk? Which did you walk straight down Washington, or do you know which route you took? Do you know Washington Street? Yes, I didn't walk straight straight down. The did you go by Walmart at all, or did you go? I remember seeing Walmart, but did I you didn't. go by the college. <clears throat> I think I went by. I went through part of the college. I think at some point, like like did you cut across the campus. I, I think so. Yes, I was kind of lost and okay. I wandered through some neighborhoods for a little bit. I wasn't sure where the hell I was going. And then eventually I found Martin Street, and from Martin I, I figured out where I was at. Okay. So you'd never been in a fight with this guy before no. tonight. Did you know if he... Uh, did, do you know if he was like a violent guy? Did, do you know I, I, know, had... I know that he, he had tried to just start a fight before at the pocket, and that his friends really wanted to fight, and they told me they were going to leave for me in the parking lot. That's all I knew of him before that. You know, before the pocket, I've seen him. Mm -hmm. I may have seen him at a party or something, but I've never talked to him. So I think my buddy Kate might know who he is better. But, yeah. So. Okay. Once you got to the gas station, did you get a ride from there? <coughs> yes. I went in, got a bottle of water, and I got some cigarettes. And I talked to the gas station attendant, told him what happened. Um, and I'm telling him what happened, and as I'm telling him, there's a lady behind me, standing in line, and and I said, oh my God, blah blah blah, you know, can I give you a ride? And I said, sure, yeah, I'll take a ride. And she gave me a ride. Just some random lady. Did you get her name or anything? No. Okay. And she took you right over to. <coughs> she took me to the trailer park. To the trailer park. Yeah. Okay. And then once you got over there, what what did you do? I went Obviously, in. Obviously, 
Yeah, and what happened? And what, what did you tell? Did you, like everything you just told me, yeah. or did you just say? Everything I just told you. What did he say? What was his response to you? Well, he was just stunned, and I said, we should probably, I should probably call the police, you know, this, you know, I stabbed the kid, what, he could be dead, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what his health condition is, I don't know if he's okay, but, and I told him, I, I, I tried to call my boss, I tried to call him, and I know I was dialing 911 when my, when my phone died, just boom, you know, and I had, you know, my phone didn't work until I got there. I had to plug it in. Otherwise, I would have called it for a so, ride. So how long were you <coughs> at the, the house before we before the police showed up? I think I got there at 4, just before 4 o'clock. And I think you guys showed up at 6, I want to say 6. So about two hours or so yeah. before the yep. police arrived. Okay. Yeah, I plugged in my phone, and I, I uh, texted my boss, and I told him what happened. Because he was expecting me at work today at 6. I told him what happened. And then I fell asleep and passed out. I don't remember even falling asleep. I just remember sending that text and then, and then being out. Okay. Uh, do you need more water or anything? Sure. sure. Uh, I'll be right back, okay? okay. Sorry about that. I got sidetracked. Oh, that's okay. I got you some water here, though. Thank you. So, I just, I just want to clarify something because I, I don't know how many people are involved yet. Okay. Um, because you, you know, the way you kind of describe this to me, it, you know, I, I, I just want to make sure I got everybody involved. Sure. So. You said that when this this fight was taking place, and uh, you're kind of wrapped up with him or whatever, you said it felt like, or you thought maybe there was multiple people involved. Yeah. Well, you know, initially it was just me and him. I know that, but I got hit. You know, he hit me first. He, he whacked me. From there, it's kind of a blur. I know at some point we went down to the ground. I remember. I remember. You know, he had me, and it was like uppercuts. You know, I don't know if I got kicked in the ribs or something. Or but I you got, didn't actually see anybody else. You just all I all I could just see was the blood. All I could see was punches and black, basically. You know, I was okay. But you didn't actually see anybody else, though. No, he was just talking about his buddies, and you know they were going to give me blah 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 before anything even went down. But you so, hadn't seen them. No. He was no, just sitting it, there with the girl. It was him and the girl, and I don't know if, if some some other people had made their way out, you know, while we right. were having our discussion, right. or okay. or if they were around the corner, or if they were waiting, you know, I I'm not sure. But you didn't I actually just, see anybody though. I don't I don't no I didn't see anybody else hitting me besides okay. maybe his girlfriend might have kicked me in the ribs or if somebody but, else may have. But you're just my basing that upon yeah when I got hit when I got hit I was you know I was at the ground and I was seeing the ground folks so um, now this this guy and I think I touched on it a little bit before did, did you have any other knowledge of this guy or dealings with this guy other than the press box incident no the pocket or the, sorry the pocket yep no that's it I've seen him I know I've seen him before but other than but you know you exchanging know, you know or talking that's it Okay, so just just the pocket was the only time. Yeah, and that was a couple weeks ago. Months, maybe maybe a month maybe a month ago. Okay. Yeah, weeks weeks for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, okay, the the knife. Which pocket did you have that in? I think I had, I always carry it in my right. Your right pocket, just with the with the clip. clip. Yeah, inside my pocket. Okay. Yeah. Do you, Do you remember? Um, when you grabbed it out, did you? I don't remember. I don't remember. Do you, I don't you remember grabbing it out. Don't remember grabbing it. Do you remember I how I did, you, but you were I holding it? I don't remember grabbing it out, opening it. I don't remember any of that, but I know I did it. If that makes sense. Um, at what point did you put it away? Do you remember putting it away? I don't remember putting it away either. Obviously, it made it back. You know, right. made it back with me, but I don't remember. I don't remember putting it away now. Okay. All right.
I don't remember what time I did that. Or, I don't know, with the adrenaline and everything going and getting clocked, and it's just, it's, it's kind of hard to remember. I mean, the whole walk back, I was trying to figure out, did I, you know, the cab, the cab part, I don't, couldn't figure that out. If we were, <clears throat> I already got physical, and the cab driver didn't want me in there if it was before. That's the only thing that I'm totally unsure about. I figured they might have surveillance cameras or something. Yeah, I, I do know they have some video out there. Um, I don't know exactly what they have at this point, but mm -hmm. uh, we're working on that. Um, okay, let me uh, let me just double check it, see if there's anything else we need to get from you tonight. Okay. For this. Just uh, one more quick thing that I forgot. That might be able to help us out a little bit here. Okay. <clears throat> now, after after the, the fight, kind of, you guys kind of broke the engagement, kind of broke off a little bit. What what was the the other guy doing? Was he standing up? Was he? I mean, what you know, was your what was your impression of him? Well, here's the see, the, and this is where I'm confused because I'm not sure if there was like two different scuffles, you know because of the cab. I don't, I'm not sure if we got in a scuffle. I tried to get in the cab and the cab said, the cab driver said, get the hell out of here. And then we went back at it. Or if it was all one big, you know. But as far so as, as, far as yeah. afterwards, I remember him walking, yeah, walking away and I saw the blood and I said, holy shit. So he was like bad. walking away from you? Yes. Like he turned around and walked Yeah, he was saying, I'll beat your ass, blah, blah, blah. And I said, dude, you're bleeding bad. Was that there was anybody else around him? Did anybody run um, up to him? I think the girl was around, his girlfriend or whoever he was with, that, that woman. Um, other than that, I'm not sure if there was more people outside or not. Did anybody else try to stop you I, when you started to leave? I'm not sure. He walked me and, and uh, it's pretty much blur from there. I, I don't even remember getting hit, but I know I hit him first. I mean, because I, I remember just telling him, I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight, smack. And that's when it, that's when it went on. So. Okay, but you don't remember somebody I'm trying not, to stop yeah, you, grab you. You know, I'm not sure if they were trying to break us up, or if she was kicking me, or if somebody's kicking me, or if, if yeah. Okay. I remember uh, screaming at him as he's punching me and stuff. You know, get off me. You know what the fuck was going on? Blah blah. blah. Didn't stop, and that's when I told him you need to get off me. Or I'm gonna stab one of you guys. I didn't know if it was him or three people. And, Going and yeah. So, okay. Sure. Do you need more water? Or are you? Um, do you want some more? Sure. If yeah. It's not too much trouble. Yeah, I'll get you. I'll get some drink. Thank you. how you remember it is him to yeah, first one. Yeah. And, and then it just be becomes a fight after that. Was there any point that, that you were able to like be able to break away from him, get away from him, move? Do you remember anything like that? I don't think did you so. did you try to get away from him? Yeah, or, yeah, or you, I didn't want to did fight. you engage him? Were you mad at him? I was mad after I got hit, but I didn't want to fight, and I remember telling him, I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight as I'm getting hit. <clears throat> I even telling him beforehand that I didn't want to fight. Do you remember punching him? I, I don't think I did. I don't think I hit him. Did I don't you, think did I punched you, him Did you kick time. him or anything? Um, I mean, did you throw any blows at him? To, to I remember just trying to get away. I think he had me, he had me in a headlock at one point. And I remember trying to pull his arms off, <clears throat> but I don't, I don't, I don't think that I hit him. I don't think that I did. I mean, it doesn't. I don't, I don't remember throwing any punches. I don't, so you, you, I just remember trying to get away. You were trying to get away from him, 
but he had you around the neck. Yeah, I was just getting hit. And he was punching you. Yeah. Okay. And you don't remember throwing any punches his way. Now, you know, it's possible that I, that I could have after I got hit, but I, I don't remember. I remember getting hit a few times and then immediately we, we got wrapped up and it's like he had Yeah, and I, I'm not saying you did, but I'm just trying to... Yeah, see, I'm, I'm just trying to kind I, of get a, an idea of what you were thinking, what you were... You know, I just what was wanted, going through yeah, your head. Yeah, through my head, I just wanted to get away. You were just trying to get away from him yes. at that point after you got hit. Yeah. Okay, but, but you couldn't. Is right. that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, at what point during this struggle, I mean, did, did you feel like your only choice to get away from this guy was to stab him? Um, after, I, after I told him um, that I didn't want to fight, and I told him to stop, 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 and I told him I'm going to stab you if you, don't, if you don't stop. Why stab him, though? Why not? It, well, why, because nothing, why else, cause did, nothing else is working. Did you point. try some, what else did you try? I tried to get away, you know, physically, but, okay. but you, and, and, you know, through telling him, but it wasn't working, so. Okay. So, and, so, and let me just ask you kind of a, so instead of saying, um, you know, get off me or I'm going to stab you, what, why did you say get off me or I'm going to hit you or kick you or something like that? Why did you automatically, you well, know, because I, I thought that that, I thought that that might be, a cue for him to okay this guy's got a knife maybe I should get off of him okay. um, but you know, because you because if I you know well we're in a, we're in a fight if I tell him well I'm gonna punch you if you don't get off me it's like okay well he <laughs> you know what's he gonna say okay punch me then you know right. he's, he's got he's got control of me so yeah okay so it's I like, just thought that that might and I was scared and he'd been talking about his buddies and I wasn't sure if they're just gonna come up and stomp on the head you know. I wasn't sure if they were already. I know I got hit in the ribs. And I don't know if she kicked me or somebody kicked me. I didn't know if they were already there. So it was basically just I was scared, and I and I didn't want to fight. And I was telling the kid as he's hitting me, I don't want to fight, you know. And it was just a, in desperation, you know. I didn't know. I was scared. I didn't know. I didn't know if those boys was gonna stomp my head in the ground and kill me, or if they were gonna, you know. I didn't know. So that was my that was my act of desperation. I warned him. I warned him several times, and it didn't stop him. So that's when I pulled it out. Okay. And how, how long did it take after you started stabbing him for this to kind of for you guys to break apart? Was it immediate? Was it a couple minutes, or not a couple <laughs> minutes? But that was it. It's kind of After I know I I know I stabbed him a couple times. You know I more than once. But once, than once, but once, once, he, once it started happening. Did you continue to stab him after he let go of you, or what? I don't think no. What, at what point did you stop stabbing him? I guess I should ask. When I when I felt that that uh, he was he had let go of me basically. That's when I stopped. But you didn't go after me more. I, I don't think so. No. But uh, hopefully there's surveillance, you know, because it'd be nice to be able to put it all back together. You know, it's just with the combination of drinking and getting hit in adrenaline, it's it's hard to to you know see everything exactly the way that it went. So, all right, hang tight for a minute. Okay. Listen, I, uh, <clears throat> I appreciate you coming down here and talking to me. Sure. Okay. And I, I, you know, obviously I do this for a living. I've been doing it for a while. And there's a lot of guys that come in here and sit in that chair and they try to feed me some kind of bullshit about what happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, and I want you to know that, uh, you know, I don't know everything that happened in this case, mm -hmm. but my impression of you at this point is that you're being honest and that you're telling me the truth about what happened okay um there's always going to be differences in people's stories and recollections and stuff like that I mean, that's just the way it is but but i appreciate you not not bullshitting me on this and, and being honest with me okay 
w with that said, okay, there's just a couple things here that, okay. that we're going to have to deal with, okay. Um, first part is, okay, is, okay, this, this guy, um, you know, I, I don't, you don't know how many times you stabbed him. Do you have any idea? Multiple. Multiple. Okay. Um, if I couldn't give you a, even a close number, I know more than once. So. Okay. It, and, and that's kind of my issue with this with this incident that happened is because of the number of times this guy was stabbed. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't have an exact count uh, because the, the doc, everything that's going on. Okay. okay. But it's, I mean, we're looking at 13, 14 times. Okay. okay. Which is a lot. Okay. Uh, you know, a couple times I can see, you know, once, twice, three times, but when you start getting 10, 11, 12, 13, I mean, that's a lot of times to stab somebody. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and I and understand, I mean, you told me what happened, why you did, and everything like that, but I got to look at everything involved here sure. about what happened, okay? So the, the number of times this guy was stabbed is, is, is a concern to me, okay? okay? The second thing here, and, and this is probably going to be the hardest part to deal with, okay, is is this guy has died, okay? That's that's the tough part. Okay. No, 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 no. Are you sure? Are you sure? He's no, no. So there's a, I mean, it's going to, I can't imagine, you know, a, this is a difficult situation for everybody involved, okay? But obviously, there's some things that, that still need to be done, okay? Okay. On my end, you know, there's, there's it, it's my job to gather all the information, okay. put, the, put a case together, and the facts of what happened, you know, it all seems to come out in the end, okay? But, like I said, these two issues... Okay, the, the fact that he was stabbed so many times okay. and the fact that he's dead, okay, you know, it doesn't leave me with a lot of choice here as to what, as to what to do with you, okay? And you can probably understand that, right? Okay, so, so you're, you're going to go to jail today, okay? Okay, I don't know how long you're going to be in there, okay? There's, like I said, there's a lot of things still that needs to be done so don't you know don't count yourself out or anything like that okay? okay but this is the process at this point according to the information i have this is kind of what we need to do okay, okay. so this is how it's going to go okay okay you're welcome to talk to me anytime you want okay you know, if any other questions come up, I'll try to give you as much information as I can. But, you know, obviously this is still under investigation. And uh, some things are sensitive to that, okay? Um, but uh, an officer's going to come in here and, and take you over to the jail, okay? Do you have any questions? Anything I can do for you right now? Is there any way that you could tell their family? Sorry, but I didn't want this to happen. Yeah. We, is there we any can. way if you see him here? Is there, is there any way you could tell him that? We'll we'll pass that information on. Okay. Okay. Uh, obviously, you know there. It, it's it's good. It's a tragic incident that happened. <laughs> oh we'll pass God. that information on to him.